Let's walk through the RFQ process inside SAP Business One. We need to fire off an RFQ to our preferred vendors for this IBM printer here that we're sending out a sales quote on to Fred at Microchips. We'll go ahead and fire this off to our preferred vendors. It's going to pull it right in from that quote. And we can fire this off as an email. We could also fire it off as a fax, whichever method your vendor prefers. You can punch in some text here, also the subject line. Fire this RFQ off to those vendors. When you hear back from them, you simply come over and plug in the pricing right here, your vendor price. I've already populated this. Uh, we've got pricing back from Acme at 395, uh, Far East at 400, Lasercom is 390. Based on that now, we can do some price analysis, determine which vendor we want to work with, and get our purchase order placed in the system, and then email that off to our vendor. You can see this is the item we're talking about. It's the IBM 1312 printer. You can see our preferred vendors and the pricing that we have from each of them. You also get your vendor totals here. The real key is to come up here, though, and select which vendor you prefer to work with. In this case, I'll go with LaserCon because they gave us the lowest bid. I'm going to mark this up to our customer. We'll say 10% at a 10% markup, which means our sales price to the customer will be 429 Once we've completed this, we can simply create the POs. In this case, we've generated PO number 61. You can drill down on this, obviously, and uh, see that we're firing this out to Mary at LaserCom. We can fire off an email from here, and then she'll receive this purchase order as an attachment. And then hopefully we'll get this from her quickly and get it out to our customer. It's just that simple inside SAP to generate the RFQ, the purchase order, and then mark it up appropriately for resale to our customer.